Hey guys, up up here. Gonna be doing reaction to Roshi vs. Jiraiya, Dragon Ball vs. Naruto, Death Battle. I was gonna do like this last, but since it's really new, I figured why not. So this will be interesting. The two perverts, and I know quite a bit about both of them, so. Um, I think Jiraiya actually might have an advantage here, maybe. I mean, Roshi is pretty powerful, but Jiraiya knows a shit ton of moves. So, we'll find out. So, let's get to the video. That's real, that's real, and the one. You know what would be a pretty memorable holiday present? The gift of genetic discovery. 23andMe DNA Man. kits are on sale from now until December 25th. It's a testing service that can provide insight into your ancestry, health, wellness, oh, and traits. <laughs> and it's super easy to use. Just spit in a tube, mail it in, set up an online account, and then they'll send yeah. you a personalized report in just a few weeks. <laughs> that won't be necessary. We love learning about the unknown here. At and Death it'll Battle, probably so cost you like fifty to sixty found out I have a bunch of relatives over in the UK I never knew about. Now until December twenty fifth, get thirty percent off any twenty three me kit by ordering at twenty three me dot com slash death battle. That's the number two three a me. Why should we even me. care about our ancestors at this point? Battle. Again, we're all pretty much blended at this slash point. Death battle. Most of our ancestors were kind of racist, so. Yeah, the finest warriors are never <laughs> developed on their own. <laughs> While some into. are simply molded by their enemies, the best usually Check our history, the you'll know what I'm master. talking about. Who, for some reason, is a weird old pervert, like Roshi, turtle hermit and teacher to Dragon Ball's greatest hero. And Jiraiya, the toad sage and instructor to the most I think Jiraiya famous ninja win. of all. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. I like their and animation, it's our job it's to pretty cool. <laughs> their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Goku is, without a doubt, one of the oh, yeah, I've seen that fight uh, of all time. The ultimate battle well, yeah, he's good between Goku and uh, a Super Saiyan, that and even alien, Master yeah, yeah, that guy. Instinct. Yeah, it was a pretty but awesome he never fight. Would have achieved any of it without the guidance of Master Roshi, a martial artist who's so powerful, there's only one thing in the he world. He lives that forever because his sister uh, Baba things, really, if you get what I mean. Gives him eternal life. I know your game, old man, and I don't want to play. <laughs> Did you miss me? I guess not. Anyway, and he survives that. Youngin, Roshi studied under the legendary Master Potato, Mutaito. And a kitty cat. These masters of ass whooping talk. Yeah, the cat stays in that little building his entire life. Similar he literally to never leaves. Chinese martial arts. Key is a vital energy all living beings possess. The stronger all right. and more focused you are, the greater your key becomes. Roshi can use his key to increase his power, pushing past his physical limits with a bunch of awesome techniques. That's a lot of bees. <laughs> I know they're freezes minions, but mode, still. Stun foes with thunder shock well, surprise, a difference. And even seal dangerous enemies away with the evil containment wave. It wasn't long until Roshi refined these techniques and created his own martial arts style. Yeah, that could get dry the old man turtle school. <laughs> could give dry the advantage if he could seal dry away. No, it's not about beating people up as slow as you can, like I first <laughs> thought. Turtle School, or Kame style, includes everything from tricky pressure point combat to a phony mm. drunken style. Which, eh. if you ask me, it's just a missed opportunity to get wasted. Wow, my Dragon Ball! By the good. Plowing a field with bare hands, working construction with simple tools, and being chased by both sharks and bees, <laughs> all while wearing a 50 pound shell, Roshi's martial art focuses on breaking the wall of humanity in every way. Except for one. <laughs> most of the students learning it hey, jump point, anyway flight is actually a technique developed by his rivals the crane school apparently Roshi's just been a bit too stubborn to properly learn the skill even after centuries <laughs> of experience how long has he been doing this well it's a little vague but thanks to either a pet Phoenix he accidentally killed or the <laughs> mysterious paradise herb do you do you feel lighter I'm definitely getting lighter. I 
think I'm becoming immune to gravity. He's just shy of 360 years old. Damn, yeah. I'm just impressed <laughs> he can still get it up for the girls after all that time. <laughs> Boom stick, that's... Well, I mean, yes, I guess medically speaking, it is quite impressive. Where can I get me some of this paradise grass? I want to be chasing tail for centuries. Good luck with that. <laughs> but with all of those years spent honing his talents, Roshi dedicated 50 of them to developing one That's revolutionary overbust. technique. <laughs> Kame! Kame! Ha! Anyway. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Fidget. Dick. Anyway, to be honest, devastating is an understatement. Well, yeah, he blew up a whole freaking mountain with it. This peak was inspired by the real life flaming mountains in China, standing eh? at 2,600 feet tall. With this in mind, we can find they didn't look like they were flaming. Mountain, Roshi's Kamehameha must equal nearly four gigatons of TNT. But that's and he blew up the moon. The time he obliterated yeah. the entire moon in about five seconds. Everyone blows up the goddamn moon in that show. Where's how many mountains make a moon? Well, more like 35 billion. So that would actually make him stronger than Jiraiya. The Kamehameha must have struck it with a force akin to so I might go with him then, instead of Jiraiya, because if you can blow up the freaking moon, Jiraiya is not that strong then. super fast. He can fight an entire battle in a blink of an eye. Which might seem crazy, but Roshi is also able to snatch bullets out of the air that are fired at him from... Oh yeah, he's rain. a lot stronger than Jiraiya. That like a British Sten, which can fire up to 600 rounds per minute at a muzzle velocity of... Jiraiya's not that fast. <laughs> feet per second. He would take that every bullet. Roshi would have to react to the first bullet within 5 milliseconds. Additionally, each consecutive bullet would reach him just shy of 17 milliseconds apart. Okay. The maximum distance between any given shot looks to be about three feet, which means I'm not nerdy enough to understand what you're talking about. <laughs> second in order to catch them all. Oh, if my hands can move that fast, I'd finally stop getting married. Yeah! Ah. <laughs> this speed is far from his limit. Hey, the single life is great. True talent. What the fuck? Holy shit, dude, what's the matter? What happened? What's going on? There's so much porn! Now you listen to me. This is a wake-up call, all right? You gotta get back out there and meet somebody because you are spiraling out of control here. He's ensuring his students grow further and further than himself every day. Sadly, Roshi's frailty of age means his body can't always express just how powerful he really is. Hmm. And using too much key energy can cause all sorts of problems. Like when his master Pistachio died. <laughs> wave. But while Roshi's pupils may surpass him, he remains one of the smartest fighters on Earth. And the strongest human on Earth. To Frieza's soldiers and survived a beatdown from an alternate universe wannabe Frieza. He even took a barrage of death rays like a champ. The same move that killed Oh yeah, I've seen all of those episodes. Ago. It was awesome. And in the Dragon Ball Super manga, Roshi is shown to be so collected in battle, his movements sort of emulate those of Ultra Instinct. Yeah, that's not technically canon, but it does go to show how far Roshi's training can take him. And it's safe to say that this old, perverted, but genius of a man will never stop training. <laughs> Beat those flies back. Among the ninja of the Hidden Leaf Village, few are Naruto is still my first little favorite. Naruto Uzumaki. I mean, don't get me wrong, yeah, Barto's pretty cool crazy, too. Cause, His son. Know. But not just anyone can fight aliens on the moon and become president of Hidden Valley Ranch. Naruto <laughs> would become the Hidden Leaf's greatest champion and seventh Hokage. But yeah, that was never a have been possible interesting without his fight. training under the dynamic Toad Sage and legendary Sani, Jiraiya the Gallant. Gallant, huh? And he's hey, the, the biggest pervert. Those <laughs> old dudes always turn out to be weird pervs. Well, don't let his <laughs> crude demeanor fool you. <laughs> oh, don't worry about me, Wiz. This ain't my first trip to Secret Leaf Ninja Town. <laughs> Nothing surprises me anymore. What the f? <laughs> uh, um, anyway, Jiraiya originally learned the Shinobi way from the third Hokage, who taught him how to use his chakra to do ninja magic. Similar to Ki, chakra is a form of life energy. 
In Hindu and Buddhist theologies, chakras are, in simplistic terms, gates within the human body, which can be embraced hmm. to achieve enlightenment. However, in the world of Naruto, chakra is used to perform amazing. I think in a real world, we are and able to activate at least two chakras, and that's about it. Four types of jutsu. I mean, we have to work our butts off for the rest. Ninjutsu, harnessing I don't know what the other two chakras tools, are, but... Genjutsu, which covers illusion and mental manipulation, and Senjutsu, a method of utilizing naturally occurring energy as an extension of oneself. Damn. Damn. mastered as many styles as he could. I've and pretty much seen the all the episodes of Naruto. Out there, the Rasengan. With this, he gathers his chakra into a spinning... And the Rasengan is not a fully complete jutsu. Bomb. And that thing can wipe out a whole village all at once. And on the weird side, he can sharpen his twisted sister mane into a shield like a porcupine and <laughs> fire the hairs out like a needle gun. Possessing a keen and mischievous mind, Jiraiya spent plenty of time developing brand new techniques such as the invisibility jutsu eh? which you'd think would be perfect for stealth or assassination missions but he actually developed it specifically for uh, yeah research Pete. where else is a self-respecting writer supposed to get his uh inspiration from clearly jiraiya sometimes took his tinkering a bit too far on one such occasion, he accidentally teleported himself to a mystical land full of giant talking toads. Hmm. Okay, I didn't see that. Isn't just like another name for crank. After befriending the toads, Jiraiya trained under the sage Fukusaku, where he learned a bunch of fire release techniques like the toad oil bullet and flame bullet attacks. Now that's one impressive loogie. Jiraiya entered a pack of right. toads, learning their ways and summoning them to the field of battle. As his own talents relied on trickery over brute force, such as hiding in shadows and manipulating his opponent's movements, the powerful toads were perfect allies. He can trap his foe inside a toad's throat, transform them into toads for interrogation, or even call a yeah. gigantic amphibian warrior to Oh, I know that guy. <laughs> like the biggest grump you've ever seen, Gamabunta! I am the wise and powerful Lord Gamabunta, the chief toad, and you're an idiot! <laughs> so shut up! Bunto, you crutch the old toad. And through Fukusaku's teachings, Jiraiya perfected the art of Senjutsu. Through their combined efforts, he entered a new mighty form called Sage Mode. Well, hmm. it takes a long time to get into. I remember Sage that. Mode Jiraiya can do all sorts of things he couldn't before. That like was a sad episode where Jiraiya died. Genjutsu, the demonic illusion toad confrontation chant. Which sounds weird, so why don't we just call it your f jutsu? <laughs> if you get cut, your soul is trapped by these big guys who desperately want to high five, leaving your physical body totally open to a swift kill. Sage Mode also enhances Jiraiya's other abilities, turning his normal Rasengan into the unstoppable Big Ball Rasengan. Which, oh, wow. according to the official data books, is strong enough to carve away a mountain. Wiz, he's way more than just a mountain smasher. Jiraiya is quick enough to fight some of the fastest ninja around, like Kakashi and Itachi, some of which are fast enough to intercept lightning. The leader of a hmm. lightning bolt moves around 220,000 miles per hour, putting ninja like Jiraiya around speeds of Mach 200. I still think now, uh, I why ninja are so awesome. Who needs guns when you're more than 100 times Roshi will than win. bullets? While Jiraiya isn't exactly the strongest, after all, he's way older and more experienced. He's certainly one of the most clever. Over time, he rose to become a legendary ninja and hero of his people, hailed by the honorable title of Sani. And he's a gutsy one. <laughs> like when he used his tricks to take out three of the six members of the emo rock band Pain <laughs> before they tore his arm off, crushed his throat, and impaled him. By yeah. Them. But even while suffering excruciating agony, Jiraiya proved strong enough to power through and send a vital message to his most promising pupil, paving the way for the next generation of heroes before being swept off his feet one last time. You know? I guess yeah, no, like I said, that was a sad episode. After all. As you can see, you fail! Jiraiya the Toad Sage falls victim to no woman's charm. Rare beauties fall for me! When you reach the stature I have, the ladies worship at your awesomeness! He's compensating for something. All right, the combatants <laughs> are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, if you're as hungry as I am for this fight, you may be interested in Blue Apron. By now, you've probably heard of Blue no, there we go. Skeezer. Hey, fuzz for brains. Where are the pictures? It's just <laughs> words in here. Pictures? Dick. You fool! Words paint a thousand beautiful pictures all by themselves. Mine! Hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
fight like over that. a nude book. Not like you wrote the damn thing. But I did! Yeah. <laughs> Now inside the stomach of the frog. What <laughs> the heck is this? You're stuck now, Baldy. <laughs> Not dead. <laughs> well, that frog did for a croak. Shadow Clone Jutsu! He got his ass whooped. Oh, damn, right in the face. Rosengan! Come on, Roshi, use your full power. Uh-oh, there's his house. <laughs> He's not even spinning. <laughs> Summoning Jutsu. Summoning Big Frog. Oh, now you're gonna sure piss him off. You <laughs> fool. What's this about? Hey there! Can you buy me some time? What? I'm not your servant. I'm the chief talk. <laughs> Oh, now he's gonna seal it. <laughs> Only a coward lets others do their fighting for them. Ooh, damn. You have no idea. I've been back on the beach the whole time. Ah, oh, crap. Will that work? Eh, I guess so. You old fool. I can't believe you fell for that. Let's end this. Uh-oh. Eh? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what just happened? KO! Talk about a whole new way to win! Jiraiya was certainly one of the most powerful warriors. Of I have no idea how he but was. There's no question that Roshi's sheer might outclassed him. One guy can break a mountain, the other can break a moon. <laughs> so that was pretty up. Yeah. The speed comparison wasn't quite so clear cut, though. While his unseen battle with Krillin was incredibly quick, Roshi's never personally shown speeds as fast as the lightning feats Jiraiya scaled to. But he did hold his own in the Tournament of Power against Planet and Galaxy Busters. Also, in Goku's training right after Korin's, he actually had to dodge lightning. Roshi's own training didn't stop after chasing the kitty around. Yeah. <laughs> Neither did his kitty David. <laughs> so, scaled to Goku's progress, it makes sense that he'd be able to match Jiraiya's speed, and probably even surpass it. Still, it would be reasonable to believe Jiraiya could use his tactical talent to outsmart and outlast Roshi. Except, Roshi's a smart fighter too. Not only does he have way more experience thanks to his super age, yeah. but he's got an eye for traps in sticky situations, like when he figured out the illusion powers of the talisman fighter, Dercori. And remember, it took only 15 seconds for Roshi's Kamehameha to reach the moon. Given the moon's distance of over 200,000 miles from the surface of the Earth, 
this means the beam must have traveled over 57 million miles per hour, more than 260 times faster than lightning. There was no way Jiraiya could avoid Roshi's trademark move for very long. Sure, Jiraiya might be a crafty ninja, but all that doesn't boil down to much more than tricks against someone like Roshi. Roshi was simply faster, stronger, and had way more experience. And oh, he Jiraiya ripped through him. When Roshi beat him to the punch. The winner is Master Roshi. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. If you want to see some exclusive commentary, make sure to click the box right over there. And if you want the battle music from this episode, you can download it by clicking the link below. I wonder what's next. They know Center Seed, wherever that is. Yeah. Well, anyway, that was my reaction to Rushi versus Raya. The battle. Hope you guys liked the reaction. I figured Roshi would win, but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video and have a nice day. Like this, like this, so dark.